Hello and welcome to our fourth and final video of our series on beginning tuba techniques. My name is Todd French. I am the tuba and euphonium professor at Murray State University. In this last video, we are going to focus on tone production. So if you watch the first three videos, we have not played the instrument. We have been building a foundation for playing the instrument, and now we're at that moment. So, I hope you had a chance to go back and watch those videos, look at those techniques, understand the terms that we're going to be using for what we're going to do here. So first, let's talk about posture. The imaginary string, pull it up, shoulders back, chin high, long neck. Very good. Let's pick up our instrument. I am using a tuba stand. Once again, if you do not have a tuba stand, I recommend putting it on a chair, using a towel or some kind of small pillow to help support the instrument. The tuba is at an angle. We have our left hand around the top bow. Our right hand will be coming around the body onto the valves. Next, let's talk about our aperture and our embouchure. Blowing on a hot cup of coffee, remember? That is our embouchure. Now, let's talk about mouthpiece placement. Once again, you're going to put it 50-50, 50-50, where it feels comfortable. And I want you to take a nice breath and give me a buzz. So it'll be something like this. Uh... Try that a couple times. Beautiful. Now, let's set the mouthpiece into the horn. You just set it in and just give it a slight twist. You don't need to hit it in. It'll get stuck. Okay, so now using all the techniques that we've done. Remember when you take air in, it's a soft dough. Very good. And when you start the pitch, you want to articulate using ta, to, ti, We'll use toe. I think that works better. And listen. Can you try that for me? Don't push any valves down, you just play open valve. And let's do it again, we'll put the metronome. So we'll breathe in on four, hold for three, breathe in on four, hold for three. You play along with me, here we go. One, two, three. How did you do? Did you get a buzz? Did you get a sound? Did the sound kind of die? Or did the sound stay stable? These are kind of questions you want to ask yourself. So if the sound is dying, what do you think the problem could be? Well, we're not giving it enough air. You're not keeping that air steady and your, your breath is kind of dying out. Now, my other question is, were you matching my pitch? Were you a little high? Or were you a little low? Let's try it again. Let's do this exercise. And I want you to try to match my pitch. Once again, it's open valve, but I want you to try to match my pitch. And if you're not quite there, it doesn't sound right, figure out if you're above it or below it. One, two, three. How did you do? Were you matching my pitch? I hope you were. Well, that first pitch you were hearing 
was a concert F, and it's open. If you can play that pitch, then you're on the right track. Now, you might not have been playing the right pitch. You might have been playing above it. And if I were to hedge my bets here, I would guess that you were probably playing up here. You were probably playing this note. Or possibly this note. And possibly this note. You might have been playing all of those notes, but not low enough. So what I want you to do is relax, go back to the embouchure and air formation, and just go. And that's what we want to go for, okay? If you want to go back, you can go back into this video and do this over again, and you can really start getting some good exercises. But I want to move on and show you another exercise. So I want to do the same thing, but now I want to play three quarter notes, something like this. Watch closely. Three. to articulate, getting three quarter notes in a row. Also, getting the first buzz right out of the gate. And I hope you're also able to match pitch on that. So now I want to try another note. I want you to try playing this note. Once again, it's open valve, but I want you to try matching this. Here it is, and as I play it, Try playing the note. One, two, three. So let me start the metronome here, and I want to do this where we take a breath in on four, hold for three, breathe, hold for three. But I want you to match the new pitch I'm giving you. One, two, three. that pitch that pitch was B flat concert B flat so we've learned two notes today that are open valve we've learned concert F and concert B flat so I want you to try this I'm gonna play it first and then I'd like you to play it back to me listen two three <laughs> go back into the video and practice those first couple of exercises that we're doing. But we want to get it to the point that you can play that F, B flat, 
F and practice playing those. Now I have one more note I would like to teach you. First, listen to this note, and I want to see if you can match this pitch. One, two, three. that pitch? Well that note is low B flat. We played the high B flat and now we're playing the low B flat. We've learned three notes. Low B flat, F, and high B flat. Let me play an exercise for you and then I would like you to play with me and let's do it together with those three notes. Two, three. How did you do? This will take time, but we're trying to train your ear. And with these three notes, we're playing low, we're playing at the medium, and we're playing at the higher pitches within our first beginning techniques. With these three notes, can you write a song? I think you can. So I have an assignment for you. On those three notes, I want you to write a song of your own improvising on those three notes. It can be any rhythm, it could be any kind of leaps between these notes. You can go from low B flat to high B flat, but I want you to get creative. Once you kind of mastered these three notes and knowing where you are on the instrument, the sky's the limit. Then you can start adding more notes and you will start getting so much better. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of tone production. Please go back, play with me on these videos. As you play along, you're trying to match those pitches. It might be difficult at first, but the more you practice, the better you will get. Thank you so much for coming and listening to these videos. I hope you learned something about it. If you ever have any questions, you are more than welcome to email me. If you go to the Murray State Music website, you will find my email address there. I would be more than happy to answer any tuba euphonium questions you might have. Once again, thank you.